Hello everyone, my name is Fatima and I am presenting our paper with the title Go with a bad chunk on the images of xenophobic behavior on web communities in the face of COVID-19. Before I start the presentation, I would like to warn the audience that this presentation mentions racism and contains highly offensive content, so I apologize in advance. The year of 2020 started with the outbreak of COVID-19. It was reported to be originally from Wuhan in China. The first hypothesis was that it was transmitted to human being from bat. During the outbreak, not only Chinese people, but also other Asian races has been blamed because of COVID-19 and there has been facing racism towards them because of it. Media has covered several of these hate crimes against them. Several Asian Americans talked about the racism towards them during the pandemic. People in power urged others to stop hate crimes against Asian American people and don't burn Asian and China because of COVID-19. All of this motivated us to study xenophobic behavior on online communities related to COVID-19. Therefore, we collected data over five months. It started from November 1st, 2019 till March 22nd of 2020 on Twitter and Fortune's poll. Then we analyzed our data using temp temporal, contextual, and graph analysis techniques. Our results shows us that there is a rise in discussion related to China and Asian people after COVID-19. We also saw that there is a rise in the use of xenophobic slurs. We saw the images of conspiracy theories. We discovered new emerging slurs. And last but not least, we observed shifts in the contents towards blaming China and Asian people. We start with temporal analysis. We look at temporal changes of the number of posts during the outbreak and because we wanted to know how the outbreak and even during the outbreak has affected the number of times that people discuss about them. Here we see the temporal changes on the number of posts contains China and Chinese on Fortune's poll. The vertical lines are related to each event in the table. We see that there is a connection between each event and then rise in the discussion on Fortune's poll. For example, when Chinese government announced the lockdown in Wuhan, we see that there is a rise of discussion contains China and Chinese on Fortune's poll. For example, when Italy extended restriction to the whole country, we again see that there is a rise in discussion more. When Donald Trump refer referred to COVID-19 as Chinese virus on Twitter, we see around 10% rise in the discussion contains China and Chinese on Fortune's poll. Here we see the same temporal changes of the number of posts contains China and Chinese, but on Twitter, with the same vertical lines related to the events in the table. For example, when COVID-19 hit Europe and when Italy extended restriction to the whole country, we see that there is more rise in the discussion concerns China and Chinese compared to the beginning of the outbreak. And that can be understood because the discussion on Twitter are more geographically distributed. We also look at some temporal changes on the number of post contents racial stories on both 4chan and Twitter. Here we see these changes on the number of post contents racial stories on 4chan. On the left side, on the right side, we see the ones that is more more popular one on Fortune's poll. However, on the left side, we see some emergence, uh, new racial slurs that has been increasingly used on Fortune's poll. This is an example of the post that contains some of these slurs. In this figure, we see the temporal changes of the number of tweets contains these slurs on Twitter. Even though uh, the number of tweets are not as much as uh, 4chan contains as slurs, but still we see the use of them on Twitter as well. Here is, a, is an example of a tweet that contains as slurs on Twitter. After looking at the temporal changes, we, we look at the content of the tweets and the post. For this purpose, we use a Wartovic model. We use Wartovic model because it can uh, analyze the contents and it can group similar words together so we can understand better how what's happening in the posts and tweets. We have three groups of word to work model for each Twitter and poll. The first group is that we have a word to work model turned on all the, all the posts and tweets. The second group, we have separate word to work model for each week. And then the third group, we have one word to work model turned on historical data on posts and tweets between July 1st, 2016 and November 1st, 2019, before coronavirus pandemic. We can use the first group of Wartovic model to study the use of words for the entire duration of our study. Here we see two tables. 
which shows the most similar ones towards China, Chinese, and virus on both 4chan's poll and Twitter. On the left side, we see the result for the 4chan. If you look at the list of similar words to China, we see some slurs and also terms such as bioattack and bioweapon on 4chan, which can show the conspiracy of that the COVID-19 was a bioattack by China. In the list of similar words to Chinese, we see some slurs as well. And the list of the similar words to virus, we see coronavirus is the most similar one. If you look at the result on Twitter uh, and the list of the similar words to China, we see some slurs here. On Chinese, we don't see much, uh, but on the wireless of similar words to virus, we see terms such as corona and Wuhan follow, which shows like how people has been discussing about the virus uh, during this time. Here we can visualize the result in the last slide in a graph. Here it shows on 4chan poll data. This is a graph, each node is a board and there is an edge between two words if the cosine similarity between them is above a predefined threshold. The size of a node can be related to the number of time times that the words has been seen on data set. We see different parts of the graph has been shown with different colors which we call them community. For example, on the right side, we see a blue community which related to words related to virus. We see some terms such as bioweapon, which again can address the conspiracy of that coronavirus has been a bioweapon by China. Here is a post on 4 that contains the slurs and um, address this conspiracy. There is another, for example, yellowish community on the left side which contains, which is about more other racial slurs. And some of them are being shown in the circle. If you look closer, you can see more of these slurs. Here we can visualize the result on Twitter. As we can see, again, we see some communities here. The bluish communities are more related to coronavirus terms. When we can see terms such as make China pay and China Wuhan virus. And if you look closer, you can see more terms related to COVID-19. We can use the second group of model, which was we have different word to big model for each week to study how the language has been changed over time. We've, here we look at the result from first week of word to big model and the last week of the study. On the left side, we see the uh, on the left side we see the um, list of most similar words to China, Chinese, and virus on Fortune's poll, and we don't see much of the slurs on the first week. However, on the last week, if you look at the similar words to China, we see some slurs and also some terms such as Chernobyl and child killer. We people call China as a child killer. Here is an example of a post that. Um, uh, address the conspiracy of the coronavirus as being a bioweapon and call China as a child killer. Again, we see some slurs in the list of similar words to Chinese. And also in the list of similar words to virus, we see the terms such as bioengineered, Wufu, COVID as well. And we can see how the language has been changes from the first week to the last week. Here we can visualize the last result of the last week on Fortune's poll, and I, I try to uh, visual. I try to emphasize some slurs in this uh, graph. But if you look closer, you can see more racial slurs related to COVID nineteen and Asian race. Here we can compare the first week and last week of the results from World Week model for on Twitter, and we can see how the language has been evolved on Twitter. On the left side, we can see the result for the first week and we don't see anything um, specific to coronavirus. However, on the right side, we can see uh, the list of the similar words to China and Chinese and virus. For example, if you look at the list of similar words to China, we see Wuhan, Wuhan virus, China virus, and some other slurs. And the list of similar words to Chinese, we see again, China virus and Wuhan virus and some other terms as well. Here's an example that uh, called coronavirus as a Kong flu. If I look at the list of similar words to virus, we see corona is the most similar one. And we can see how the language has been changed from the first week 
till the last week on Twitter as well. Another way to see how the language has been evolved through time is to look at the cause and similarity between words during time. Here we look at the cause and similarity between terms Chinese and virus on Twitter and uh, fortunes poll on a weekly basis. As we can see, the cause and similarity between these two weren't as much before 2020, but after 2020, the cause and similarity between these two has been increased. Here we see the cause and similarity on a weekly basis uh, between words Chinese and bad. And again, as we can see, the cause and similarity between them started increasing after 2020. Here we see the cause and similarity on a weekly basis between words Chinese and an slur. And as we can see, unfortunately, the cause and similarity between these two words has been always high, and that can show how users on Fortune's poll use uh, slurs. But on Twitter, we can see this cause and similarity between these two has, is increasing at the beginning of 2020, and it can show how people also on Twitter has been using this slur as well. In summary, we all know that COVID-19 threatens the entire world in many ways. But Asian people has been suffering from racism because of COVID-19. And it made us to study xenophobic language on online communities towards COVID-19. And we find out that COVID-19 has come with the rise of xenophobic content. We also discovered new slurs and studied the evolution of slurs during time. The lessons that we learned, we learned that xenophobic, con xenophobic content is a cross-platform phenomenon, which makes us to have a multi-platform point of view when studying such emerging social phenomenon on the web. We also learned that xenophobic behavior evolves quickly, which makes us to develop techniques to understand behavioral changes and to deploy countermeasures to prevent real-world violence stemming from these behaviors. And at the end, we hope that our study can be taken as a call for action and we can stop this racism before it gets into real-world violence. Thank you for your attention.